Hello, everyone. This is AJ Barce. And this is Chris Powell with the Bellingham Podcast. Hey, so there's so much going on because, um, well, there's a winter storm watch and there's some holidays coming up. And you know what? Chris and I just need a little bit of a break this week. Yeah, we want to be able to uh, eat our comfort food, uh, snuggle our f- favorite someones. Uh, that means our wifeys and our uh, kiddos in, in AJ's case. Uh, and actually just take uh, some time and not have to worry about creating a show. Yeah, exactly. But first, I need to tell you, podcast partner crime, happy Lunar New Year. Uh, right back at you with a baseball <laughs> bat. And uh, this, uh, this, of course, is a three-day weekend for President's Day. Here in the U.S. Here in the U.S., that's right. Funny thing. Uh, I channeled my inner Cliff Clavin. And for for you kids out there, that's a dude on Cheers who thought he knew everything. And I did a little bit of research. Funny (laughs) thing there, Nami. Um, Initially, in February, Lincoln's birthday, Washington's birthday are both in February. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, they wanted us, the United States wanted to celebrate both presidents' birthdays. Cool. Well, there's a thing back in 1968, the year that Jimi Hendrix's Axis Bold as Love record came out, by the way, kiddos. There it is. Uh, It's called the Uniform Monday Holiday Bill. Bill. Huh. What the heck is a UMHB, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. It's intended to allow American workers a number of three-day weekends throughout the year. Huh. Back then, Congress actually cared about the workers <laughs> in, in America. But the funny thing, and the reason why this is important for this three-day weekend, is this uh, bill became a law. And check out Schoolhouse Rock. Oh, Schoolhouse Rock anyway. Exactly. Uh, this went into effect in 1971. AJ, our dear listeners, this is the 50th anniversary of Of the President's President's Day. Day. Yep, exactly. And it was for this uniform Monday holiday bill. They changed it to President's Day. Why? Well, I'll tell you why again. (laughs) It's due to the retailers' use of that name to promote sales in their stores. So obviously, (laughs) we get three-day weekends to buy stuff. But that's not what the Bellingham Podcast is all about. Nope. And I I challenge you, dear listener... (laughs) See how many news resources tap into the fact that this is a 50th anniversary of the President's Day holiday. No, I think uh, this is a mic drop for you. Uh, it could be a mic drop. Uh, otherwise, I'm just a nerd who likes to <laughs> research information. So that being said, we're going to take a station break this weekend. Yeah, so happy holidays and happy three-day weekend. And everybody stay warm and cozy. And hopefully this uh, snowmageddon or whatever the other news sources might call this here in the Pacific Northwest uh, hopefully y'all can just stay inside. It's a pandemic anyway. So on that note, from the frosty city by the Salish Sea, I'm AJ Barsay. And I'm a Cliff Clayton. No, actually, I'm Chris Powell. Thanks once again for joining us on the Bellingham Podcast. We'll see you next week, hopefully with another show. Wow, a Cheers reference and a Jimi Hendrix reference. Wow. The, they, they both are going one and the same to me.